Well, hey, welcome. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect your domain name that you got at GoDaddy to your web hosting via what is called the DNS or your name servers. And all you're going to need basically is your hosting's name servers. Usually there's only two and you'll have to sign in to GoDaddy. And then you'll just paste in, enter in your name servers and connect. If you're watching this video, of course, I'm assuming you already have web hosting, but if you don't, or perhaps you're looking to change, here's an option for you to consider. You simply go to myeasywp.com, myeasywp.com. That will take you to this web page right here, which InMotion Hosting made for me. Now, I've been dealing with these guys since 2013. Very Pretty big company, very reliable, fast web hosting, 24-7, 365 US-based support, so you can call or chat with them anytime, any time of the day or night, 365 days a year. You get a pretty good discount if you come to my page, bigger discount than normal. I'll scroll down here. There, This is a page they made just for me. So a good web host to consider if you need a web host. Talking about InMotion, here are their two name servers that they use for their shared accounts right here. I would simply just copy one and then uh, paste it in and then just change one number. Of course, they're always in sequence just like that. If you bought your web hosting, say at HostGator, another big web host, they're going to send you an email with all your account information. And here are the two name servers, first and second name server. You would just copy one, like I said, and then just change them because they are always in sequence. We will just use the InMotion's name server. So I'm just going to copy the first one right here, just like this. Then you'll just want to go to GoDaddy.com. And of course, you'll have to sign into your account. I've already signed into an account here. You'll see your name up here in the top right. Just go ahead and click on that, the arrow right there. Then just find Manage My Domains, click on that link. This will show you a list of your domains if you have more than one. Put a check in the box next to the domain that you want to change the name servers or connect the name servers to. Hover over this right over here where it says Name Servers. Click on Set Name Servers. And this is where you can paste in your name servers. You want to select Custom right here, have this selected. And then you click on Edit Name Servers if you already have name servers in there. And then you just simply paste in your name servers like this. And I'll go ahead and paste it in again like this. And then we'll change one number right here like this to the second name server. Then you simply just press on OK. And I'm not going to do so on this account, but it'll probably give you a message saying you might have to wait up to 48 hours for the DNS changes to take effect. It never has taken me that long. A lot of times it's almost immediate. It kind of depends on your web host also, but be prepared. You might have to wait a little while before your domain and your web hosting are connected together. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Very simple process. Now, if you do have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below the video in the video comments section on YouTube, or you can go to my WPHowTos.com site and send me an email. And I'll try to get back to you time allowing and at least try to point you in the right direction if I can't answer your question. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or even give it a thumbs down. Just <laughs> interact in some way. And as always, keep on keeping on and keep on smiling.